Hello, welcome to the video on line segments and rays. This is our first example set, example set A, and we're simply going to just uh, check for understanding of what we uh, talked about in the lesson. And this should be a pretty quick um, exercise, so let's go ahead and start. So what does the following symbols represent? Now, remember geometry, we have many, many symbols, so we really do want to make sure you um, know the details. And they're Although, it's, let's just say for the new student, there might seem like uh, minor details as far as what the symbols represent, because they look very similar, but they, but they mean something quite different and, um, from one another. So we really, really want to make sure you can um, distinguish the difference, what the different symbols mean in geometry. So let's start with this one. Okay, so what does this mean? All right, this is a ray. Okay, so this is ray AB. So the end point is A. In other words, the ray is starting from point A and continuing on point B in this direction. Okay, so that's what that means. That's ray AB. All right, what about this one here? Okay, we have a little symbol, a little line over HJ. Okay, this is line segment HJ, and H and J are the endpoints. So this would be H, this would be J, and then we have a piece of a line connected in two points. All right. Okay, what about this here? Now we we have two line segments here. We have line segment CD and line segment GF, and then we're state we're stating some sort of relationship with this symbol here, and that symbol represents congruency. Okay, so we're basically saying these line segments are equal in length. All right, so that symbol, little equal sign with a squiggly mark over it, is congruency. All right. So CD is congruent to GF. In other words, they're equal in length. Another way you can do that, by the way, is if you have CD right here, and let's say I had G and F, another way can, in, to indicate congruency is just by putting one mark on this one, uh, through this line segment, and one mark there, okay? All right, so that indicates that they're both equal in length. Or if you rather have two marks, here, you could put two marks there, all right? So that's another way we see uh, congruency expressed in geometry. All right, let's take a look at these last few questions. Now, you got to be careful here because they may be trick questions. <laughs> I like to uh, make sure that you really pay attention to the details of what's going on here. So let's start with this first question. Do lines, do lines have endpoints? Okay, what do you think? Do lines have endpoints? No, lines do not have endpoints. Line segments have endpoints. Remember, lines go off into infinity in either directions. Okay, So from the left and right, they just continue on and on and on, so there are no ends to the line. Now, line segments, like the ones up here that we were talking about, they have um, uh, endpoints, but that's, that's different than lines and line segments are, are two different things. Okay. Segments with equal length are called, okay, equal length, and we're talking about line segments. Uh, segments with equal length are called congruent segments, okay, and of course the symbol we just talked about is this, equal sign with a little squiggly mark over it. All right, so let's take a look at our last question, true or false, a plane can bisect a line. Now think about this now, true or false, a plane can bisect a line. Okay, this is false, all right? Now, the reason why it's false, and I can't think of an argument uh, to state it's true, is we can't really bisect a line. Remember, a line goes off into infinity, right? So how can you say, oh, this point right here is in the middle of uh, infinity, okay? Now, a plane, okay, or ray, or another line can bisect a line segment, but not a line, okay? So here, I really want to stress the difference between lines and line segments, okay? Very important. All right, so a quick little uh, exercise. If you, didn't get, if you didn't get them all right, don't worry, as long as you understand now, um, you know, and once again, these are the basics of geometry. Lines, line segments, points, lines, planes. We're going to be talking about angles, so forth. These are all the building blocks, and it's really important that you understand the subtleties between the two and, of course, the symbology. Okay, keep working hard. We'll see you next time.